deny. And when he mm. says it, mm. I'm out. After negotiation, 13,000 was agreed on to be paid to Justice Ajetan Assam. It was a tricky situation before meeting the judge. Justice Ajit Nassam, on accepting the money, told Tiger to bring the rest of the 2,000 Ghana cities balance and to also come with Bernard Salah, who was at large so that they would know what to do in order to first of all reverse the warrant on his head and to finally pass a judgment in his favor. I even told him that he has to bring the mm. because uh, I, uh, his is, uh, a lot of people. So you have to get the Okay. Okay, what my lord. Okay. Then I'll make the entry before the real date. Yeah. Okay. Okay, my love. So maybe by ten o'clock Okay, my love. So you pass by my place, I'll bring the record book. Okay. 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 The same record. Okay. No, we can even use, use this one. Okay. 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 okay, my love. Okay. But since you said ten, it should be ten. Ten. Yes, yes, my love. We will really do that. Okay. Thank you very much, my love, for it. <laughs> Poised to collect the rest of his money, Justice Ajitina Sam called us for a meeting to give him his balance. We deliberately gave him 1,000 cities to prolong our encounter with him. He met us at Zongo Junction in Accra to collect it. Oh, my love. Ah, what? You make him something, something. Yeah. <laughs> from the and middle, the you know the decision. They will be coming next week. Next week, yes. Next week. Yes. Okay. Well, I believe mm. that there will not be any. Uh, mm. This big bag you are carrying. <laughs> because I just have to. Robin, you could go. Hi, finally. <laughs> For the remaining 1,000 Ghana cities, we had to go to his house and pay, this time with a male goat. <laughs> Weeks later, we got information that Justice Ajit Nassam had been assigned by the Chief Justice to the Koko Affairs Court building. His clerk took his share, and there was Justice Ajit Nassam taking his share and putting it under his table. He threw out the contempt case. After some months, we identified a rape case considered as one of the criminal and punishable offenses under Ghana's criminal code. We then identified Charles, a driver to the judge, also known as a middleman in the sale of justice. A few days later, he called to say the judge was willing to see us on only one non-negotiable condition a payment of 2,000 Ghana cities. The driver led us to the judge, who took the 2,000 Ghana cities from us, being representatives of the criminal suspect. Well, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Why have you come? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the king's house agreed to you. Yes, sir. Ten months. That's all what I will ask him. Okay, my lord. Will you come to greet that for you for our uh, office? Oh, no. oh my lord, oh, my lord. Fine. I beg you. Okay. Ali, sit down. Okay. Sit down. What is your name? Okay. I'm Idris Ishmael. Please. You know how work these things are very dangerous. Yes, yes sir. sir. So you are two. Mm -hmm. And I'm two. Three. Yeah, three. Let this thing remain in this room. Okay, my lord.
the suspect was acquitted and discharged. Thank you very much. Uh, so thank you, my love. We decided to follow a case which involved one man suing another for fraud. To get to the judge, we needed to pass through Mr. Che. On the day he proposed for seeing the judge, we prepared the amount of 2,000 Ghana cities that he demanded. He then took us to the judge. What is the name of the boy? The one with the defendants, Abu Alat and Elias GJ. The judge wanted us out before accepting the bribe money. I want to look at you why. In terms of community, you know. I don't want to go another talk. You're welcome. Are you with us? That's why you came. What is your problem? No, I'm not saying no, 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 no. he is saying that you, you, you go out. You he knows what to tell me. The only thing should come in. He is not in the case I just started. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you know him, you can even come here without me. Mm -hmm. So this is, he, this is what he likes. So if you don't understand, then you go. We are waiting for him to sleep. When we didn't, he walked out. My lord, are you already there? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a man. I don't know whether somebody is giving a picture of us. Oh, I'm going to put it down here. I'm put it down. I'm a we left the money on the judge's table and exited with Trey. It was such an eventful process. It was the Republic versus Kwame Jato. A suspect in a narcotics case. We told Mayor we were intervening on behalf of the accused who was about to be sentenced. Mayor agreed to help. In the judge's house, things happened swiftly. Mayor introduced us, handed over the money to the judge in a brown envelope, and the judge gave us assurance that he will act on our request. It was clear that Mayor did not want us to talk about money with the judge. This could be because he wanted us to avoid any mention of the faceless state attorney that he was supposedly giving the other 5,000 cities to. So that would be the judge. Mm -hmm. You have never seen him before. To find out the truth, we decided to go back to the judge. This time, without mail. We took along a ram, a symbolic gesture of appreciation for his promises and assurance. To our mild disappointment, the judge said he preferred a goat to a ram. This this morning, I asked uh, uh, my wife to look for somebody to get to Tulaku to buy me a goat. But my lord, if you want, I'll bring a goat to you. He gave you some money. He took 6,000. The judge was shocked at Mia's behavior. And later on, he came and told me that he, he, he talked that you say you don't have money, so mm. what, what you could get? You mm. collect those money. Okay, thank you. So what about that? Uh, so will you come in the morning or evening time? I'll come in the evening. Okay. Days later, 
we took the goat, Justice Peter Derry's preferred gift, along with the remaining balance. The balance like a thousand. This is the balance. But is he going to set free? It all worked in favor of Kwame Jato, the man standing trial for narcotics. Our checks with the Attorney General's department shows that a man was freed. You bet the true price of justice in these parts. Madam Keith, who we found to be a strongest link for reaching the judge. Uh, uh, elderly people say, uh, you, you can't, can't go, go, go empty, uh, uh, no, no. Uh, empty handed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So now the ball is in your court. When we asked how much the judge would need to carry out injustice in favor of the murderer, she said, What about 2,500? Yours is not in you know. Yours here yeah, will treat you special after mm -hmm. they have it done. I will inform him. Okay, okay. Don't remove anything here. Mm -hmm. Can I get them to rubber? Oh. Okay, you give it to me. We decided to make part payments to her in order to sustain her interest. How would I need here? I will be going to see him okay. and then tell him your assurance and then I will call you and then bring you the money. Okay. <laughs> By our next meeting, we had organized the money, and after court proceedings one day, we handed it to the judge in his chambers by placing it on his table. He grabbed it swiftly and threw it into his desk drawer. So she, he will be free, my love. Work for now, yes. Okay. Peace also got her balance. About a month later, John Broby was free. We then set a date to meet the judge. Our rendezvous point was the Accra Mall. The judge showed up with his bodyguard to pick his part of the booty, but asked the bodyguard to excuse him before taking the bribe money from us. He then appeared offended that the money wasn't in an envelope. No, my friend, I was. Can you? The money is not. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh. Next time you pack it this well. Eh? Oh, no, 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 no. Next time, you next time I will not allow you no. this. Though. It's then not the best. best. Next time. Yeah. I even had seen you earlier on. Uh -huh. You, you. you. The point oh, is yours. To well. so appease him, Gabriel suggested we top it up with the gift of a male goat. We delivered that, but he was not at home. So, so uh, your auntie give you something for for small fuel? Eh? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. for you, dear. He says that's it. Gabriel called him on phone to tell him what we brought. Now that we knew his house, we could go back to meet with him. So we did just that, with another goat bought from Burkina Faso. 